Hey guys, today I thought I would just go right into it and do a Q&A for you. So I've got quite a lot of questions here that you guys have sent in. So thank you to everyone who sent in a question and I will answer it now. So, who's your best friend and why? If you haven't noticed yet, my sister is my best friend, Tiana, because um, she just is, we just click. Um, we just, I don't know, we're just the exact same person, but the f I just don't know, we're not. Shut up, Helena. What's your favourite piece of clothing and why? This top is a five seconds of summer top, and it's just my favourite top ever because it just is. Um, favourite boy band? I don't really, the, the bands that I listen to aren't really classed as boy bands, so um, just bands that I listen to in like general are like, Five Seconds of Summer, One Direction, The Vamps, The 1975, Bring the Horizon, just things like that, apart from Slipknot. Slipknot, scare the life out of me. I just, just, just don't even go there. I'm sorry, but I just don't. Um, number three. If you could choose any three, if, oh wait. If you could only use three products for the rest of your life, what would they be? I, I don't know, this was a really difficult question and I don't think I could fully answer it. I would choose the Last Imperfection um, by Collection um, Concealer, the Wake Me Up by Emma London Foundation, and I don't know what my third one would be because I really like my lipsticks, but I like my eyeliners, but I like my mascaras, but I like my blushes, and I like my bronzers. So I, I don't know, so I, that's just an impossible question. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I would like to change multiple things about myself because I just would. Probably my height, I'm 5'3", 5'2", 5'3", so definitely my height, um, my face, probably weight as well, I'd rather be stick thin. Um, I don't know, what else? I think that's about it. Um, if you could change one thing, oh, which said that, <laughs> awkward. Would you eat a bowl of mayonnaise and beans to meet your favourite? Yes, who wouldn't? I mean, it's just, you just gotta hold your nose, I guess, and go for it. Zach or Zam? Zam. <laughs> that was the name that I put them together with. Zach or Sam? I can't even choose, I can't even choose between them both. They're both fab, so, I can't. And. All these like people who I'm like talking about now, I will leave their Instagram in the comment in the comment in the description box below, and you can go and follow them on Instagram. And Sam's got a photography page, which I'll also leave down in the description box. What's your opinion on Zane's new hair and his decision to leave One Direction? Well, Zane's new hair, I actually quite like it in a way. It's, I don't think it's his best haircut. I think the best haircut that he did. Whereas where it like over here and like shaved here, it, oh, the one that he has is his Twitter, like Twitter picture now, it was, oh, that's amazing. I love his hair like that. And the decision to leave One Direction, I guess if he's happy to leave One Direction and he's happy having to do that, then, and if that's a choice he has to make to be happy, then he obviously wasn't happy, otherwise he'd still be in the band. Um, I completely respect Zane and his choice to leave One Direction, I'd rather have him out of the band and be safe and just be feeling okay then have him in the next five years dead like fully not here at all because he felt like he'd be pressured into having to stay in the band so I, I think he could have been a bit more um more open-minded I guess maybe more open with us because it seemed like when Louis had the drama with Naughty Boy that um, Zane didn't really stick up for us, or didn't say anything for us, or he didn't, he didn't even stick up for Lou, and he's known Louie for five or six years, and I just think that was really offish. So, where are you up to with your book? I'm currently up to chapter 14, I think, 14, going on to 15. It's going really well, um, I've had so many different ideas, it's just, Going good. Name two things that you wish you had. 
I don't wish I had, I don't know, I just don't, I don't really wish, I do wish I had things, but that sounds really off because I get everything that I, not everything that I want, but my fam, like my mum, she will always put the effort in to get me things that I really, really like or something that I will have an interest in. So I really appreciate that. People that might assume I don't, but I do. Why did you stop uploading for two weeks? We missed you. Thank you, because I missed you too. And the reason why I didn't upload for about two or three weeks was because, um, I'm just going to be open about it, to be quite honest, because I think I should be honest with you guys and just be out there. Um, I went through a sort of stage for about two or three weeks. I felt a bit crap because I'd been in school for so long and it was just getting all tiring and I had so many things on my mind with school and coming out of school doing everything that I needed to do and YouTube wise I had to keep you guys happy and I, I just I felt like I wasn't doing that and I had just like I had people asking me like oh not in a rude way just like oh where's your video why haven't you uploaded and I'd be like, I haven't really, well I've filmed, but I just don't want to upload it yet because I just, I don't know. Um, I just felt like I was letting you guys down a lot and I didn't really want to do that. And I know like, I'm not big in like a YouTube way, but still like now it's difficult because I feel like I have to make everyone happy, which is impossible, I know that it's impossible to make everyone happy. But my main thing that I would love to do is keep everybody happy, and I know that's impossible, but that's just something that I really like to do. And I just felt like, I felt really pressured, I had to do everything, and it was off my own back that I had to do it, I didn't have someone else to support me with it, like, I didn't have someone to come and do my YouTube videos with me or to do like my lesson like school work with because it was down to me to do that and I think independence is just I think it's an important thing but it was just really difficult for me to sort of keep up and keep everyone happy because I'm I don't know it was just one of those two or three weeks where I just felt like crappy because it was the end of summer at the end of school but now I feel a lot better and yeah sometimes I do I do, still do feel a bit pressured to do things and I panic a lot but I will try my best as usual for you and everyone else. Um, Favourite book? I don't, I've got quite a few favourite books. I, I love really love Zoe's, I've read that about four times on the row now and Alfie's because I really like the fact that it's not a reading book it's, it's something to do when you're bored, it's something to keep you entertained and I really like the fact that he has scanning pages so like you scan it, I really like that Mac or Nars? Now for you guys who don't know who what Mac or Nars is if you're a male viewer watching this or you don't really get into makeup that much they are makeup like makeup brands and they're like quite high like priced so like high street um i don't know i, I like nars a lot a lot i like the naked palettes as well a lot um but i think i like mac i've got most things mac so i guess that anyway zoella or tanya i can't really choose between them both because i love them both uh, honestly i can't why do you want to be so much like zoe I see Zoe as a really, really, really big inspiration for me and I feel like if it wasn't for her I wouldn't push myself out of boundaries but because I know that she's been through what I've been through with panic and stuff like that and anxiety and I feel like she has helped me a lot with it so even though she's never actually spoke to me in person I just feel like if she can do it and she has the same stuff as I do why can't I do it? And then that pushes me to do stuff so... Now, please tell me how you gained over a thousand people in the space of three to four days. Now, gaining wise, I just put myself out there. Not like that. I just put my account out and I just put everything out there. For the blog, I've got a new blog up and running. 
Um, stuff like that. I just put myself, I just put myself out there to just people who I felt comfortable with, and yeah, I guess it's worked. And people don't believe that I've gained over a thousand people, but I have. I've gained over. I've gained over that actually, like a lot. Um, I, the beginning of last week, I had. 800, no, less than that, I had, I think I had about 600 and something actually, and now I have 1,376, so it's gone up a lot, so yeah. And the last question is, what are you doing about vlogging? Vlogging, I am now, I know I say this quite often, but um, in the summer, I, well, not in the, well yeah, in the summer actually, I'm going out, and um, and lots of different places so I can daily vlog and in the holidays which are only in four or five weeks I'm going to London so I'm going to daily vlog all of that and have it hopefully have it uploaded for you guys on nights that I'm there because I just think having to go to London and experience it with daily vlogging this time is just a fab thing to do so I thought I'd daily vlog it because it's going to be quite fun so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I answered all your questions with the answers that you like, I guess. So if you liked it, you can like it, comment, subscribe and do whatever you want to do. I hope I should do that. Anyway, yeah, so that's about it.